Welcome to another edition of Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. And today we are going to look at two pencils that uh, I found recently. Um, and these are both um, uh, interesting in that I always find it funny to see how a store brand of something emulates a name brand of something. Um, and whether that's a bottle of ketchup or in this case, um, pencils. So uh, what I've got here is a 12 pack of uh, Ticonderoga. Um, this is the Ticonderoga black because the pencil is painted black. And um, it's for the most part identical from this to the standard Ticonderoga other than the paint job on the outside and um, comes in a pack of 12 and then also uh, here is the pen and gear 12 pack of their pencils in black now pen and gear is the house brand at Walmart and they make uh, you know, standard yellow, uh, bright gold colored office and school pencils um, pretty cheaply actually. I mean I think you can buy a, an 8 pack for around 50 cents but here these were a bit more expensive um, and these are sort of a dressed up version of the pen and gear pencil. I don't know that they're any different under the paint job uh, than their standard pencil. But I think it's interesting that I'm certain that these are meant to compete with these. I will say that these are probably less than half the price of these. So in terms of a value, you could buy two packs of this for one pack of that. So these are these cost half as much. You're getting the same amount. You're getting a dozen pencils. Um, but let's take a closer look at each one of the packages. So here on our Ticonderoga, as an example, uh, we see the world's best pencil, something that they claim on all of their packaging. Uh, here uh, it might be a. Uh, let's see if I can focus in enough. It's got a little seal here. Uh, celebrating a hundred over a hundred years of excellence, um, 100% American cedar wood, sustainable forests. Okay, so we know that, and they advertise. You go down a little lower, premium wood, and a latex-free eraser, and it has the PEFC certification also in fine print made in China so this is made these pencils are made at the Ticonderoga plant in China where many of their pencils are made some are made in Mexico uh, up here 2HB um, which is, is the core um, hardness and on the back again world's best pencil certified non-toxic Black graphite point for smooth, easy writing. Has the Pencil Manufacturers Association seal there, uh, as well as a PEFC certification, which was on the front. And that just states that this product is from sustainably managed forests and controlled sources. Uh, then we have uh, Dixon, the parent company and their address, website, etc. And then you have your Prang Power, um, which is another brand of theirs, uh, coupon, and made in China again. And then there's a picture of our black Ticonderoga. Again, black paint job, silver imprint, and then of course it has the familiar green and gold uh, ferrule at the top and in this case a black eraser. So now here's the pen and wood or the pen and gear um, 
package, which um, instead of cardboard, it's plastic. Uh, and um, number two, wood pencils, pen and gear. Uh, 12 pencils, you see, that's really all it says. We look on the back. And again, number two, wood pencils, um, Walmart, uh, made in India, okay? So uh, the Ticonderoga are from China. These are from India. I'm not sure who makes them, but we do know that there's a couple of really big pencil manufacturers in India, certainly. Uh, uh, this box that it comes in is recyclable. There's the recycle seal. And this also has the PEFC uh, certification um, stamp here. This product is from Sustainably Managed Forest and Controlled Sources. It does not have the Pencil Makers uh, Association certification on it. Um, I will also say that nowhere on here does it say certified non-toxic. Uh, as the Ticonderogas do. So I'm not sure about the materials used in these pencils here. Uh, it also doesn't say anything about the eraser being um, latex free. So I don't know about, I don't know what the eraser is made out of in these pencils either. Uh, you'll note that these erasers are dark. Um, they are uh, black, just like the Ticonderoga. So let's let's get one of each of these pencils out. The pen and gear pencils come pre-sharpened. The Ticonderogas do not. So here they are. Look, let's. Here are the two pencils. Uh, length is pretty much identical. Uh, they are both hexagonal uh, pencils. Again, this uh, the Ticonderoga is immediately identified by the uh, feral hair in the Ticonderoga colors. Now the pen and gear Instead of going with the silver imprint, you can, uh, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. The Ticonderoga is in silver, the pen and gear is in gold, number 2HB, and then it has a gold tone um, ferrule as well. Again, not sure about what the eraser is uh, made out of, but there. So these are the two pencils. Um, they both feature a really, you know, pretty, pretty sharp uh, black lacquer paint job, uh, high gloss. Um, I will say the ferrule attachment is clean on both of these pencils. Uh, there's no, there's no scraping of wood. There's no overrun of the paint. They're both, they're both pretty, pretty clean there at the top. Um, so one is again made in the Chinese plant, the Ticonderoga, pen and gear comes from India. Uh, I would say though just in feeling here that the corners on the pen and gear may be a tad, tad sharper than the ones on the Ticonderoga. These Ticonderoga corners here are fairly smoothed out. Uh, you, you feel them, but they're very subtle. The corners here on the pen and gear are um, more pronounced and uh, not only to the eye, but to the finger, you do feel them. Um, they're not sharp, but they are more pronounced than uh, the Ticonderoga. So I'm gonna sharpen this Ticonderoga, and then we will 
um, put these two to a writing comparison. So we have our two black number two HB pencils. Um, let's start with our Ticonderoga here. Well, this is very much a um, what we would normally come to expect from a Ticonderoga. It's a fairly smooth pencil. Um, comfortable to hold, um, very nice wood. Again, the, the carton said it was American cedar. Uh, yeah, you can smell. Uh, and um, yeah, so. Okay. Very good. Now we'll switch it up here. And this is the pen and gear. Hmm. Um, I don't know that it is immediately obvious uh, from looking at these two, uh, but I think it's more evident in some places than others. I think you will see um, that the line of the pen and gear is a bit darker and a bit wider. I'm sharpening it in the same sharpener as the Ticonderoga now because I want to see if this difference was more in the way it, the factory sharpened the pencil or if it's in the core itself. I will tell you though they do not feel the same when you're writing with them. Uh, in terms of comfort in the hand, they're both great. That's not it. In terms of the feel of the graphite going across the paper, therein lies a difference uh, that is somewhat tangible. Uh, I think that the pen and gear pen feels a bit softer. than the Ticonderoga. Yes. Um, and I think that because it is a bit softer, it does create a line that, frankly, is darker. Again, they're both they're both rated uh, graded number two HB. I'm going to do some more one more line here, just something short. Thank uh you. -huh. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's do this. Definitely is softer. Can really tell. Um, mm -hmm. Well, it's a very faint smudge line here on the Ticonderoga. A little darker smudge line, not surprisingly, on the pen and gear, because it does have a bit of a softer core. Um, so there is a difference there. Let's try the erasers as, uh, as furnished with the pencil. Uh, we know that the eraser on the Ticonderoga is a latex-free eraser. And, uh, okay. Yeah. Not a... Let me get a little closer so that you can hopefully see. It's, you know, it's okay. Again, not great. Uh, which we've just take that for granted now that these erasers on pencils are not that great. Um, we don't know whether or not this is a latex free eraser. The package didn't say. Uh, but regardless of its materials, it's a lousy eraser, as you can see. Now, I would say. Uh, it did, did leave more of a shadow on the page than did the eraser on the Ticonderoga. I think that's as tight as I can go here. But um, that said, this core is also softer and darker. So the, the challenge of erasing it just from the, the get-go is is greater than the Ticonderoga. I, I would think that this would be um, a, a, a more difficult graphite to lift off the page than this because I think there's just more graphite in this core. Uh, but let's try some other standard uh, erasers that we might have. We'll try our pink, pink pearl on the Ticonderoga first. Pretty good. We'll try it on the pen and gear now. Okay. Uh, better than the eraser on the pencil, but there's still a little shadow there. Uh, let's try a plastic eraser on the Ticonderoga. That very good. And we'll try the plastic here on the pen and gear. Pretty good there. Better than the pink pearl. Um, a gummy racer. <laughs> gummy racer here. Okay, so far the plastic eraser seems to do be the the best one for the pen and gear. Here's a natural rubber. Okay, and let's try a final eraser here. 
Very good. And here. Very good. Okay. So we have we have tried our erasers here. I would say that overall the Ticonderoga erases well. The pen and gear erases okay. Um, much better with plastic or vinyl erasers. Mm -hmm. So there's our eraser test. Nice writing pencil, the Ticonderoga. I mean, it's hard to. You see why they're 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 popular pencils. They they feel nice and they write nicely. Also a nice writing pencil, um, but it definitely uh, does have a different feel. Uh, it definitely also has um, a different wood, not the same wood as in the Ticonderoga. Um, the Ticonderoga wood is of a higher quality, uh, certainly it's a cedar. Um, this is not a cedar pencil, um, but I mean it sharpens evenly and and nicely, so it does not, you know, prohibit the instrument from sharpening properly, uh, and the core is centered and all of that. So it's it's a different it's a decently made pencil, the pen and gear. But the materials are different. There's no no doubt about that.
Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I feel like I have written enough with both of these instruments. Um, here's the thing. Uh, inexpensive, I mean, neither of these pencils are expensive per se. I mean, when you look at it as a, as a per instrument investment for what you get back and the amount of writing that you get out of it. But in terms of just cost, um, this is half the price of this. The pen and gear is half the price of the Ticonderoga. Is it half the pencil? Mm, not really. Uh, it is different though. The materials are not the same. Um, the uh, eraser is not as good. Uh, the wood is not cedar. Uh, has the nice black lacquer paint job. Um, sharpens well, uh, has a bit of a softer feel, a bit of a bolder line than the Ticonderoga. Um, is a comfortable pencil to hold, although the corners of this hexagonal barrel are a bit more pronounced than the Ticonderoga. They're very subtle on the Ticonderoga and less um, the, the feel is less intense than the pen and gear. So, you know, different strokes for different folks. I don't know what you like. I like both of these pencils. I will enjoy writing with both of these pencils. Um, and, uh, but they are not the same uh, writing experience, uh, but they you know, both certainly do the job. Um, I think the Ticonderoga has the, the, the edge um, in terms of just overall um, quality, uh, but the pen and gear is a good pencil, well made, and if you prefer a softer core, you might actually like the pen and gear better. Um, so, there it is. A comparing and contrasting these two number two HB black pencils. Thank you for spending some time with me. If you like what I do here, please subscribe. And um, I appreciate hearing from you. And I will certainly look forward to seeing you again soon here on Always Analog.